it's a noble and worthy endeavour, I think, this teaching profession that we're all engaged in. That's one key message I want to get across to people. It is a noble endeavour, it is a worthy endeavour, it's a difficult endeavour, and it is sometimes made more difficult by the kinds of um, ideas that teachers have to be everything to everyone. Uh, that can be hard for new teachers. But I would like to encourage them to have faith in themselves. They're living now in a rapidly changing world, but there are some enduring themes that will continue on, and we need to continue to grapple with those themes as a profession. One of those is diversity and how to deal with diversity. And I would really like um, early career teachers to understand that diversity isn't something to be feared, but it's actually part of the fabric of our whole ecology and our society. And so um, I really would like them to be able to uh, explore ways of being able to value that diversity and um, enables to enable others to see how they value diversity. Because diversity and how to deal with it has been such an enduring dilemma uh, for, you know, right throughout the 20th century, uh, teachers have been um, asked to individualise instruction. Now going right back into the 1920s, we were, the teachers were always told, try to individualise instruction to maximise learning for individuals. Now we're still talking about that today and we're still talking about how to do that today. Uh, so it, it's something that the education profession and theorists in education have really struggled with over a long period of time. Now with cognitive neuroscience, we're beginning to understand better um, how the learning brain actually works and what we can do to um, facilitate learning.